morning. Today is Monday, November 4th, 2019. I'm Madison. And I'm Micaiah. We are your Bingle News anchors. Well, it's the first full week of November. I don't know where October went, but it is gone. We have several updates for you this week. But first, let's check in with Gabe for the November lunch menu. Hello, I'm Gabe with the lunch menu. On Monday, we have oven fried chicken with all the fixings. On Tuesday, we have pork or rib sandwiches. Uh, on Wednesday, we have mini corn dogs. On Thursday, we have hot ham and cheese. And on Friday, we have chili beans with, with, with a baked potato. Thanks for the update, Gabe. Everything sounds fantastic. Well, we are creeping up closer to the winter season. I wonder if the temperatures are already starting to get dramatically cooler. Talia and Barry are up next with the weather. We are kicking off the first full week of November. Our temperatures will still remain comfortable for this week. The chances for rain are unlikely, but we, are, we will have mostly cloudy skies all week. Monday will be partly cloudy and reaching a high of 55. Tuesday will be mostly cloudy, and it has the potential to be the warmest day of our week. Wednesday will only reach a high of 53 with mostly cloudy skies. Thursday and Friday will only reach a high of 47. There's a 30% chance of rain on Friday. Saturday and Sunday will be, will be in the uh, mid-40s. Expect a 30% chance of rain. Let's check with Siona for our national news. The wildfires in California are still raged on. The windy and dry conditions make it almost impossible to put out the fire out. While we are thinking about all the people who are going through the devastating time, what about the animals? Well, well, the courageous firefighters are thinking about the animals too. Check out this clip. I'm so glad that those horses were able to be saved. I just hope even more have a hap happy ending, and I hope everyone, everyone will soon get a break from this never-ending nightmare. That's all for your natural news. Aw, those poor horses. I'm so glad that people are caring enough about the animals. Hey, the weather for this week didn't sound too bad for November. You're right. Those November temperatures aren't too bad for November, but it will feel like winter during the morning and at night. I wonder if anyone is celebrating a November birthday this week. Up next are Aiden and Kaden with the jokes and birthdays. Hi, hey Aiden, why is there only one birthday? I don't know. On November 9th, though, Malachi Olivo has a birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Hey Aiden, you want to hear a joke? Sure. What, what did the one eye say to the other? I don't know. What did he say? Between us, something smells. <laughs> <laughs> hey Kaden. Hey what? Want to hear another joke? Sure. Why do bicycles fall over? Why? Cause they're, because they are too tired. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some very funny, cheesy jokes, but we can all take the time to appreciate them. <laughs> I wonder if we have anything going on this week. I don't know. Seems to have... Seem to slow down after Halloween. Chloe and Shaylin are here with the special reports. 
November 6th, JROTC will be here to do a presentation <laughs> to celebrate Freedom Week. K through 2 will be from 8 10 through 9 10, and 3 through 5th will be from 9 20 to 10 50. November the 7th is Career Day at School. We'll have several people coming to do presentations. There will even be drones. Make sure you are there for Career Day. Number 11 is Veterans Day. Remember, there is no school. Take your time to show appreciation for a veteran. That's, That's all for, for your special reports. reports. Oh, Career Day sounds like fun. Speaking of career day, what do you want to do when you grow up? Well, uh, either A, I want to run a cafe, or B, I want to work for NASA. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, I'd like to be a physician's assistant when I grow up. Well, if you're unsure about what you want to do, then you definitely don't want to miss career day. Chris and Noah are up here with some sports updates. The Bluefield Beavers continue to dominate the local football scene. They, they stand with an 8-1 and one season. Here's the score of the last game against James Monroe. The next game will be against Woodrow Wilson this Friday at 7.30. Last Thursday, WVU played Baylor. Baylor was standing with set a 7-0 and season. Seven, they won seven games and lost none. We were ranked three and f to four. That means we've only won three games and lost four. The odds were against us again. Sadly, we lost this game. I can't say that I wasn't expecting it, but it still hurts. Check out this game footage. Over the middle. Right once again. Might want to look at the sideline. Oh, the clock's going to wind down. Oh, no. The Baylor defense gets play. the stop. And the Baylor Bears are eight. They remain unbeaten and at the top of the Big 12. 17 14 tonight for Molly, Pat, and Matt. I'm Adam Amin. Even though we are having a rough season, I still like to watch our Mountaineers play. I bet you do too. The next game will be against Texas Tech this Saturday at noon. You can watch it on ESPN2 or ESPNU. Well, there's only one way to end the news. How's that? We can't end the news without seeing who's been caught kind this week with Natasha. Natasha, who's your special person? Hi, my name is Natasha, your kindness keeper. Today I'm standing here with Gabe, and it has been, been reported that by Mr. Harmon that Gabe is always helping people in the classroom and picking up trash. Gabe, why, why do you think it's important to be kind? It's because if you're hopeful and kind, you get stuff done faster, and I just like helping people. Gabe, thank you for being you. Here's a small prize. Thank you. It's a Remember, teachers, if you want to nominate a kind student that goes the extra mile, just let Natasha know. Well, that's all for another week of the Mingle News. Have, Have a great week.